Hey, what is up my ladies? Today I obviously am not in my normal studio and this is not a normal tips, personal development video from me because I just wanted to talk to you heart to heart and just kind of have a moment to check in with you and to check in with yourself because something that I've noticed that a lot of people keep saying and I've been like cued into it this week especially is that they are gonna be happy when. They are gonna be happy if this thing happens. And so today I wanted to have this heart to heart with you about delaying happiness because I think every single one of us at different points in our life has delayed our own happiness. And truly when you think about it, it is ridiculous. And it's this idea that I'm not going to enjoy my life, I'm not going to have happiness or find peace and joy in the moment until this one thing happens. And the reason I get so like riled up about this is because I used to be like that. I used to say like, I'm going to be happy when this happens. I am going to be happy when I get a new job. I'm going to be happier when I make more money. I'm going to be less stressed when I figure out this problem, right? And it's so easy to do. And it's like this little excuse that we as a society totally accept that, you know, I'm just not going to live my best life just yet because... Ugh, Obviously, I don't have this and this and this going for me. And so my challenge for you is to stop and to truly call yourself on it. Because if you are waiting for happiness, it is always going to be over the horizon. It never is going to just magically appear in your life, regardless if some of those things that you are like hanging your happiness on actually happen for you. Because believe me, I totally get it. I would love to make more money. I would love to, you know, be thinner and be healthier and you know have a bigger house and all these things that like if I let it I could really hang up my happiness and deny myself a lot of joy in enjoying where I am right now and what I'm doing with my life if I'm continually waiting for the future and that's where a lot of women when it comes to personal development start to struggle because the the whole idea around setting goals is that you know where you are and you know where you want to be right and they're not the same and they're usually vastly far apart from each other. And so it can be easy to say, well, I'm not gonna be happy until I achieve all of these goals. And that, my friends, is how you can end up with a miserable life because you're always gonna be waiting for happiness. And the sad part about the world that we live in and the life that God has set up for us is that we never are going to be fully satisfied. There is never going to be a point in our lives when we just think, wow, I have it all and I don't want new clothes and I don't want to be skinnier and I don't want more money, right? Those are like common things. And so there's never going to be a point in your life when it's all figured out. And so knowing that, having that in your mind, I want you to make a conscious effort to put more happiness into your everyday life and to stop denying yourself joy. Perfect example of this, and I, I speak about this so much when I go and talk to youth groups, but I think my older audience would love it as well. But when I was in high school, I truly, honestly believed that if my hair was different, if it was a different color, if it was longer, different texture, curly, straight, you name it, if it was just different than what it was at the moment, that I, like my problems would go away. And that sounds so ridiculous and I'm stuck with the hair that I have, right? And now I actually like love my hair, but it's funny to have gone from a moment of like, my life is not gonna be complete or full until my hair, like my hair game changes, to now understanding that that was so ridiculous. And I was using that as my crutch of, I just don't want to, you know, admit that I need to step up my happiness, that I need to take ownership for some areas of my life that I'm not happy in and like go for it. And so, Use my ridiculous hair story as your like starting point. Is there something in your life that you are waiting for to be happy? Maybe it's when your spouse will change, or maybe it's when you get a new job, or maybe it's when your kids will start to listen to you, right? These are things that are so out of our control sometimes. And so we have got to stop waiting for happiness and bring it into our everyday life. So that's my challenge for you is to look for the areas in your life that you are waiting for happiness, things that you want to have happen, and that's not bad. We all want great things to happen to us, and they can increase our joy, but it'll only be temporarily, right? It's like, sweet, I won the lottery, but then all those people who do like go back to their normal state of living. So my challenge for you is to increase your joy every single day and to allow yourself to be happy. 
sounds ridiculous, but we deny ourselves so much happiness. So that's my little heart to heart for you today. And I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope it really stirs something inside of you to make a change in your life and to get rid of your ridiculous, I need better hair, you know, to be happy attitude. So best of luck to you. I love you ladies and I'm so grateful for your support on my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Abby J out.